Good evening, this is Luke Thomas, home post here at the Earthquake Forecast Center. It is, let's check what time it is, 9.53 in the evening on Friday, April 2nd, 2021. 2021. And we are going straight to the forecast here for uh, California. And let's go up to the top here. This is the forecast for the 1st and the 2nd of April. You can see the risk was across uh, most of uh, the San Francisco Bay Area. And we got uh, some more significant earthquakes during the last wave barrage of 4.4 near petroleum. And also a uh, 4.4. And a 4.3 out here in uh, West Central Nevada. So uh, a couple of significant, significant earthquakes, 4.4 up there and a 4.3 in Western Nevada. 4.3 was right about here, 4.4 was up here. Now we're moving to this uh, forecast here for the second to the third. We still have a few more hours left in this forecast and we still can get something during the next five or six hours in San Francisco Bay. Sometimes these forecasts will uh, we get a quake uh, you know, three or four hours late. So the risk is still pretty high until, until tomorrow morning uh, when this forecast will take place for the third of April. And that risk contains some 75% uh, risk down near the Salt Sea and Los Angeles. And then on the fourth into the fifth, uh, the risk is building here northwest of Los Angeles, 75%, 80%, 85% near uh, Santa Maria. 80% from Santa Barbara up to the uh, Coalinga area here. And that's on the 4th and the 5th of April. So we'll keep an eye on this area that's building northwest of Los Angeles. And we'll keep you informed on that. <clears throat> All right, Alaska has been a mystery. Uh, we've had a few small earthquakes up in this area, but this area continues to be very high, just southwest of Anchorage. And I'm not sure why nothing has happened there yet. Well, we got a 4.0 down near Sandpoint, but nothing really significant there yet. And uh, well, it's still the April 2nd, so we can still see something happen here during the next uh, 12 to 18 hours near Anchorage. And in uh, the country of uh, Chile, the risk is in southern Chile. And on the third, uh, St. Mary down here south and southeast of Santiago, Chile. Third and the fourth, more up near Copiapo. And up to Fagasta, more near Copiapo though. And then on the fourth and the fifth, uh, risk is centered more near La Serena. Right here's La Serena, and uh, that's on the 4th and 5th of April. Italy's forecast, and uh, I believe, yes, 2nd and the 3rd, significant risk up here in Northeast Italy and Croatia. You can see a 5.0 up in uh, Croatia on the April 3rd. I believe it's already the 3rd over there, April 3rd. And then the risk is in southern Italy on the third and fourth. And same thing on April 4th and 5th down here in southern Italy. Pretty high risk down there. Over in Japan, we have pretty high risk right offshore. And right now over there, it is around, uh, it's in the morning. It's in the afternoon of April 3rd right now. So this forecast holds for another 12 hours or so. We did get one significant earthquake in that hot spot there. And that was uh, southeast of Sendai, which we put it right, right in that high risk area there. But still pretty high risk out here uh, for another 12 hours or so. And then the risk is uh, near Iwate Prefecture on the 3rd and the 4th. In the Philippines, um, right now it's the 3rd over there, so let's go to this forecast. 
We have risk building into the northern part of the Philippines. 4.0 to 4.5 is possible. And the third and the fourth, same thing, 4.0 to 4.5 is possible in the north, and the third and the fourth of April. And the fourth and the fifth, it begins to diminish the rest of the area. In Greece, a significant uh, risk here on the third and the fourth up in Albania. And then the fourth and the fifth, we have a very large area of risk here uh, northwest of Athens, here's Athens right here. Northwest of Athens, we could get 5.5 up in this north and northwest section of Greece on April 4th and April 5th. And let's go to Central America. We had some pretty high risk down here near Panama. See this right here, 75% risk down there. And we got a 5.0 not too long ago in that area, just on the eastern edge of Panama and the western edge of Colombia, somewhere down here in this high risk area here. Otherwise, the risk is near Guatemala during the next 24 hours. Risk continues high down here in southern Peru, eastern, uh, eastern Panama, I'm sorry. And, uh, and then on the 4th and the 5th, very high risk of, uh, uh, around the Guatemala and Western El Salvador. Indonesia. Just in a second, it's the third over there right now. So we're looking at uh, pretty high risk here in uh, Northern Sumatra, 67% risk. And then on the 3rd and the 4th, mostly offshore here, and we get a 4.5 offshore there. And the fourth and the fifth, over the island of Java, southeast of Jakarta, we can get a 4.5 in that area. And up here uh, in Northeast Indonesia, we can get a 5.5 up in that area. Taiwan's forecast. And we're in the third right now, so near Okinawa in the Ryukyu Islands, central Ryukyu Islands, uh, you can get a 4.5 to 5.0 there. And then on the fourth, third to the fourth, more in the northern portion of Ryukyu Islands, the risk is, and the same thing for the fourth and the fifth. All these maps you can uh, check out at uh, quickprediction.com for more details. And Taiwan, Washington. Interesting uh, risk right here in southern Idaho. Now, into the 3rd of April, could get a 4.0, 5.0 in that area. And, and then uh, Turkey and Cyprus. The risk is uh, very high in the southeastern Turkey and northern Iraq right now. And on the third and the fourth, same area, northern Iraq, southeastern Turkey. And the fourth and the fifth, we have the risk over in northwestern Greece. And in the Caribbean, Our risk right now is right here. This is a pretty high risk here. 5.0 is possible in the central portion of the Lesser Antilles here from uh, Guadeloupe to Dominica and Martinique and the St. Lucia. And uh, this area could, could be 5.0 to 5.5 in the next uh, 24 hours or so. The Caribbean, and now New Zealand, our last map for today, and uh, pretty high risk here and very high risk in Western New Zealand on the third and the fourth, and then the risk is uh, in the far north on the fourth and the fifth of April. Once more in California, this risk still remains in this area around San Francisco Bay, Excuse me, for the next um, about six hours till tomorrow morning, 
And then we go to this map, which is uh, on the 3rd of April. And the risk is around uh, the Salt Lake Sea. We're at 3.5, 4.0 is possible down here. From Los Angeles to the Salt Lake Sea. And then on the 4th and 5th of April, risk begins to build into the area between Salinas to Colinga, Santa Maria, Santa Barbara, Los Angeles. This area begins to build in risk on the 4th and the 5th of April. We'll keep a close eye on this in case it uh, increases uh, during the next forecast period. Thanks again for watching today, QuakePrediction.com, the Earthquake Forecast Center. And um, we continue to keep researching and finding better ways to uh, portray the maps and the magnitude. We're working on the magnitude and uh, so that we're able to uh, forecast the magnitude better. And we'll get back to you tomorrow, which is Saturday night. We'll get back to you. And uh, have a nice uh, Easter weekend. And we will talk to you tomorrow night, hopefully. And God bless you. And we'll talk to you soon. Thank you very much.